Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayana. I'm a licensed massage therapist, esthetician, and spa owner. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can automate your social media for your spa. This is going to be a tutorial video. Very excited to show you all this. Okay, so we're just not going to waste any time. We're going to jump right into it. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. And if you are new here, I hope you will subscribe. All right, so let's dive right into it. It, I'm going to share my screen. How we're going to do this is with this tool that I call Metricool. So I've been using Metricool now for mm, almost a year. I use it to essentially automate my social media. Now I've used quite a few services for this. One thing I do like about the service is that it's free. So that's awesome. But let me show you how this works. I'm going to just show you the entire workflow. All right. So when I log in, so I did start paying for Metricool because I do manage multiple brands for my consulting and then also for my spa. But when I first log in, I get to see all my analytics. So I'm able to see my analytics. And what's amazing about it is that I'm able to see multiple channels. So Google My Business is here. I really should be connecting my Facebook ads here, my Google ads here. You can do TikTok on here, Instagram, Facebook. And so really what you're gonna be doing is posting to multiple social media platforms at once. So I'm going to really walk you through how I do this. And just for reference, I do have a team. So I do have a virtual assistant. I have a spa manager. So they help me with this, but this is totally doable for a spa owner who is on their own. Maybe you're solo. I highly recommend having something like this. Let me set the stage. So how I do this is when I'm in the treatment room, I take videos of me doing services, of me doing facials, of me doing massage, all that stuff. I also have my team record videos of them at their their mobile sessions and so what we have is a shared Google Drive so I have all of us upload to that shared Google Drive all right so everyone has a link to this Google Drive this is where all the content comes in so throughout the month we are adding content to that Google Drive now what will happen is once or twice a month my virtual assistant will take that content from the Google Drive and she'll add it into this software now when she adds it into the software she'll use you know AI tools now this actually has AI sometimes she'll use AI through this software to create captions usually she's repurposing captions that I've written in the past to make it sound more natural but she does use AI to create some captions and some hashtags. She'll put all the pieces of content in Metricool. And what's great is that she can post it to multiple platforms at once. Well, really Metricool is the one posting it to different platforms at once. It'll post to Instagram, Facebook, and Google all at once. Now, one thing to note about this strategy is that all the different platforms, they have different things that it requires. For example, on Google, my business and Facebook, you really can't show skin so sometimes you have to modify the different content but now I'm gonna show you how this works so I set the stage we've batch created content these are sometimes eight second clips or just photos or videos even recently we had a spa photo shoot so we were able to get a lot of content then and it's uploaded to a Google Drive and then the virtual assistant will use this service to pepper it out on these different platforms and all I have to do is once or twice a month approve the copy, approve the photos, approve, you know, what the feed looks like, all that stuff. So even as a solo practitioner, you could do this. You could batch create all your content. It could be 10 pieces of content. It could be 20 pieces of content, create all your captions, upload it to a service like this, and then just schedule it. And then you're good for a month. Even right now, we're preparing to be a month ahead. All right. So let me show you again how this works. Give you a little tutorial. All right, so you're seeing my screens and I won't show you the inbox because I can't show you, you know, the clients that we work with. This inbox part, this is where all the messages that we get on Instagram or Facebook, she's able to respond to those messages for me if I'm not available, I can look at it and respond. We can also respond to comments. So it really ensures that our clients are having human contact when we're responding to customer service requests or questions or things like that, because not everything needs to be automated so this is great for us to collaborate on getting back to customers because you always want to make sure you're getting back to potential customers in a timely manner really as soon as possible and also it lets you create templates so if you get you know frequently asked questions all we have to do is pull up a template and 
you know, send that to the client. The main part I wanted to show you is this planning tool. And y'all let me know if you wanna see more tutorials about tools that I use, software that I use, all that stuff. But this is what it looks like. These are drafts. So what she'll do, she'll take that content from the drive. And for example, I think I have a Google Drive link I can show y'all. If I wanted to post, let me go far in the future. So what she'll do, she'll look at the week so you see the different days of the week. Now this dark part shows you the best time to post. So it analyzes your account and lets you know when is the best time to post. Now I'm going to click here. So once you click somewhere, it shows you this draft so you can start to see what this will look like. What's important to see is that again, you can post to different platforms at once. So I can click Instagram, Google my business and TikTok if I wanted to, I'm not going to and Facebook. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the photo I took from Google Drive. Google Drive always offers URL. Now you could just upload a photo if you just have it on your computer or phone. Now I'm just going to paste that and then it's going to process it. And this is the photo that we have on Google Drive. All right. And then what she would do, she would go to this bot right here and she'd probably create some caption. So I could say caption for wood therapy session. This is just an example. Usually she'll just <laughs> copy that I've created. And let's see, I want to make it emphatic and use English and generate text. And then it's going to give me some examples. Feeling stressed and tense, let's take a moment to reconnect with nature and rejuvenate our mind and body with a soothing wood therapy session. I actually like that. And then it also thinks of um, hashtags. I'm not going to lie, some of the hashtags are silly, but what's great is that we have saved text. So we have saved hashtags right here. So these are some hashtags we use. These are some templates for when we have before and afters or reviews. So I could just use one of those templates there. Now I can also see what it looks like on the feed. So if I click Instagram, this is what it will look like on the feed. This is what it will look like on Google My Business. Posting to Google My Business is so, so important. It's just, it's super important. Also, you can add a first comment because something interesting about Instagram is that you're more likely to get engagement on the post if you get comments. So you want to make sure you're the first comment. This is also where you can put more hashtags. So it's almost like hiding your hashtags and making sure that your post is being engaged with. All right, so that's another thing that you can do. Now it's also going to tell you if there is anything wrong with the photo. So for example, this is telling me that the size of the photo is not ideal for the platform. So for example, Instagram. So if I needed to, I would just need to edit it. This is also where you can edit by network work and then also you can add a location i highly recommend adding a location to your post because people in your local area are more likely to see it especially on their discover page so now once i've created all that copy and i see what it's going to look like i can also see what it looks like on desktop now what i'm going to do is save it as a draft so she'll save it as a draft but she'll get all these different pieces and she'll schedule it out save this as a draft so basically she'll schedule out the next couple of weeks for content and all i have to do is go in and approve it to avoid having meetings i'll film a video just letting her know what changes i want made and then she'll make those changes and then they'll automatically be posted um, one thing i want to show you here is how it posts multiple platforms at once so if I go into the past, for example, this before and after, as you can see, it was posted to Instagram, Google My Business, and it was posted to Facebook. So that's just an example or this review was posted to Facebook and Instagram. So that's just an example. So it's not just photos, it's also videos. All right, so that's my tutorial. Now, Metrical is free. However, if you want to get started with Metrical, I do have a link where you can get seven days free of Metrical. It actually is free. So either way, if you use that link, it'll just take you to Metrical and you can create your free account. But I highly, highly recommend it. I just like how easy it is. And if you're thinking about scaling, meaning, you know, you want to have a virtual assistant or you're thinking about having someone help you with your business, then I highly recommend you 
using a tool like this because it just makes planning easier. And we love automation. We love making things easier. We love having a hub where we can just post to different platforms at once instead of manually posting. That is the video. Definitely comment down below if you like videos like this and you want to see more tutorial style videos for products and services that I use. But I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.